what has Trey done to make people think he's good? Don't get it. Guys' numbers in JV College League weren't even that good. Wish I could get paid after not having done anything. It's baffling. I don't think it's necessarily that people think that he's good. I mean, it's just, first of all, I think it's like also a counterbalance that I know personally I like to act out is because people want to put so much hate on him. And, you know, I, ho- I hopped on Vegas radio last week. And the thing is like, oh, that's kind of a lot of praise from you, Jose, considering he's an unknown. He's like, yeah, he's improving. Like, no, duh, he hasn't started a game. Like, the same way you want to critique him is the same way that I can still try to prop him up and just things I've seen from my limited time in practice, from your observations and other one, everyone else's observations. So to well, me, hold it's on. Just let's, like, let's address some of his points. Team. Let's address some of his points. He says that Trey Lance's numbers in college weren't even that good. He threw 30 touchdown passes in one pick in college. Uh, he completed 65% of his throws. That's pretty good. He averaged 9.3 yards per attempt throwing he averaged 6.9 yards per rush he scored 18 rushing touchdowns i do think his numbers were off the charts now it's true it was north dakota state but his numbers were off the charts they were better than carson wentz's who went to the same school um and then in in the pros like trey lance he didn't play that much last year but take away the completion percentage he had a lot of drops in that first start like just in terms of uh yards per attempt pretty much identical with jimmy last year um quarterback rating pretty much identical with jimmy last year uh, yards per completion. I mean, Lance had him beat by two full yards per completion. So I think given the 49ers made the investment, uh, they have to take the leap of faith. They have, they have a little evidence that shows that he can probably run the offense as good, if not better than Jimmy. So it's time to find out exactly how good he can be. I don't know if he's going to be elite, but I do think he's better than Jimmy's. And that's the only reason that's the only consideration you need. Does he give the Niners the best chance to win? I think yes. And I think we saw it in Houston. I don't think Jimmy would have, Played as well in that game as as uh, Lance did. And there's a stat out there that also kind of sees a sneak peek of how the 49ers offense is going to operate differently with Tran- Lance's arm. I think it's what is the pa- not maybe it's pass yards attempt or air yards per attempt, where it's like he literally just poo poos on Jimmy's number like eight yards, and it's something that a Niners quarterback hasn't seen in like a long time, right? I think it's like I put it in one of my articles. I don't remember, but the point is like you already see the difference is going to be when he's in there. Yeah, uh, the Mech says Jimmy Garoppolo to be extended for 10 years. He's never leaving. <laughs> He's going to be a coach. They should give him a lifetime contract, yeah. He's he a winner, he great win. teammate. Great teammate. The great teammate position. Tre- Flav again says Trey had no interceptions in college. Dude only had 28 TD passes. Jimmy threw for like 450 yards and four TDs a game in the JV League. Trey hasn't led one game-winning drive since high school again. What has he done? Game-winning drive is so overrated. Let's look at Jimmy Garoppolo's stats. Hold on. Jimmy Garoppolo, college stats. This guy. Hard to find since he played like forever ago. Let's see. Um, stats. I'm on his EIU Panthers page, and it's not. It seems like a website built 30 years ago. <laughs> nope, that's not going to work. Okay, let's try NCAA. This college PFR, I think they have something like that. Mm, okay, here we go. So his final year, he threw – yeah, he threw a lot of touchdown passes. That's true. Um, he completed actually a low completion percentage. He had 58% first year, 62, then 61, then 66. He basically had one good year at the end. He threw for 3,800 yards his junior year. He threw for 2,600 yards his his sophomore year. He had a big senior year. He threw for 5,000 yards and 53 touchdowns, kind of like what Derek Carr did at Fresno State. But mm-hmm. he was a senior. I mean – Trey Lance did that when he was 19 and then there was a pandemic. So it's hard. It's, I mean, he's, he's a tough evaluation because he came out during the pandemic. Yes, All he those players, Very tough. It was tough, but I don't know. I've seen him play more than you. I, I can say with confidence that he's better than Jimmy Garbaggio. So I, I, we'll Gosh. see. We've got another one from Flav who's just put down 30 bucks. I appreciate it. He says Trey. No. Oh yeah. Trey has only thrown for over 250 yards in one game in his life in JV league, not saying he won't be good in five years, just saying there's no reason to think he's better than Jimmy now. Hmm. So how many yards you throw for in a game determines how good you're going to be it or are. I mean, sorry, how many- I appreciate you keep sticking with me here, but um, dude, I've, I'm saying it. Trey's better. Kyle saying it. Trey's better. That's why Trey's a starting quarterback on this team. That's why and, I trade up for him. You know, if, if Jimmy wants to prove him wrong, then he, you know, can go be a backup somewhere. Jimmy's not even a starter in the league anymore. So I, he can prove him. You know, maybe he'll have the last laugh in this one. But right now, the entire league 
is siding with the Niners on this one. Like, yeah, you know, Trey's a starter. Jimmy's the backup. Sorry. This reminds me of all like the arguments when the 49ers immediately traded up for Trey Lance and you had people like us and other and other young people like start Trey Lance. And it's like, why? Jimmy's a proven winner. It's like, hey, don't don't look at us. We're not the one who traded up for Trey Lance. The, the 49ers literally said, we don't think Trey McGraw is the future. We'd rather go take our chances on a raw product in Trey Lance. So if that doesn't tell you what you need to do, even more than what we're saying, then I'm sorry. I think you might be a little bit closing your eyes on this one because I, the, the reason why they want to go with Trey is because they don't they don't care about that 250 yards because Shanahan's proven that he can fabricate that with Nick Mullins and CJ Beathard. <laughs> and if we really want to break it down, then look at the air yards. How many you have? You mean to tell me that Trey can't do what he did in the Bears game? Just throw it to the line of scrimmage to Debo Samuel and Debo takes it almost for a score. Uh, I mean, how many plays is this guy actually doing that's like that? And the so fact Trey, at least you're gonna have that uh, that aspect. Sorry. The fact that the Niners traded all the what they traded for a guy from what he's calling a JV league that only played one year in it just shows how bad Jimmy Garoppolo is, how desperate they were to replace him. I mean, you, Flav might disagree, but Kyle's done. He's through. That's why he made such a big trade to go up and get Trey Lance or to get an A quarterback. Didn't want to play him right away, but it's over for Jimmy Garoppolo. If he were better, they never would have had to make such a huge move for a guy who only played one year in college football. And again, with the Niners, the bar is real low because Jimmy's terrible. Jimmy, despite having the best weapons in the league, has to hand off 40 times a game because you can't trust him. And you're, you're you're running the ball 40 times a game, 10 on 11 football, because Jimmy's not a, can't move at all. And really, all you get from Jimmy is a few nice throws on third down every game, but it's a double-edged sword because he throws picks too. He throws a couple passes at the defense, either catches or drops every game. So Trey, he's now gives you 11 on 11 football. Boom, that helps. Your run first team, your running game improved. And now if he can just not throw as many picks, if he can just be an actual game manager who can move, he's already better than Jimmy Garoppolo right there. You understand, Flav? The bar is like an earthworm. The earthworm is the bar that Trey Lance has to clear here. And I think he proved that he can. I mean, again, look at the stats last year. They're exactly the same between Jimmy and Trey. Completion, not completion percentage, but yards per attempt, yards completion, uh, passer rating. That was 21-year-old Trey with a broken finger doing exact, pretty much with the same end result as Jimmy. But Flav might know better than Kyle in this, in this case. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry, Flav. I appreciate you, but I, I get... I get spirited in these debates and you bring out the spirit. Don Yee says, ha ha. When did Shan say Trey was better? Don Yee <laughs> he made the worst trade in franchise history because of in the worst trade in franchise history because of injury concerns, put his own back against the wall. If Jimmy's still on roster, he'll be starting by week four, man. See, what's funny is like people, they start the conversation like Flav will be like, so how do you know Trey's good? He'll be like, well, you know, I acknowledge there's not that much evidence, but there's these numbers, there's this game, there's these practices that I've been there. And they're like, that's not enough. And then as the conversation goes on, they're like, Trey's a bust. Worst franchise, uh, worst trade in franchise history. Like, well, hold on. How do you, didn't you just say that I don't, there's not enough evidence for me to say he's good, but now you're saying he's bad. Based on what? The fact that he averaged 14.7 yards per completion last year. I mean, that would have been number one in the league. What are you talking about? I don't see it that way. I mean, Kyle said, look, there's a reason we're trying to trade Jimmy. I mean, no one on this team is saying, actually, we want Jimmy to start this year. Everyone's saying Trey's really exciting. Now, they're also saying we want, we think we can get something for Jimmy. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. The fact that no one wants Jimmy is not a good sign. I feel like teams would trade for Trey. I think teams would probably offer something for Trey right now. Mm -hmm. No one wants Jimmy. What does that say? But you like him, though, Flav, or Don. Or whatever your name is. Or Don. Or Don. What's Jimmy's brother's name? Jimmy has a brother's name. Paulie. <laughs> Wait, they didn't make – I mean, I think we talked about this last year when we used to do roundtables is did they just trade for Trey Lance based on injury concerns? And I said yes and no. Well, it was part of the reason, but was it the main reason? No. Oh. It was like – it's like 1A, 1B, or 1 and 2, whatever you want to call it. But – Availability, yes, isn't a complete issue. You can't have your starting quarterback missing more multiple games a year or even seasons the way this guy puts them up. Well, that's what's pretty much his only elite strength is missing games. That's unfortunate. Ooh. And the thing is, what is his performance is that he's such a crutch that Shannon has to do all these moving parts to figure out a way. He really has to work clocking over more overtime than these coaches are already doing. Just so he can scheme guys open so Jimmy can get the open look. Because if that first read's not there, where is he going? He also said uh, Jimmy's going to be starting by week four. 
I mean, only if Trey's hurt. Because Jimmy started two and four last year and got to keep going. So I think the Niners would have to give Trey the same patience that Jimmy got last year because Jimmy is a notorious slow starter. I, okay, I will say I think if they were hell bent on keeping Jimmy and they really, really were thrived on winning, I don't think that'll work the same. I think if they started going bad, like two and four, then they probably would make this. And Trey was playing bad, then they would make the switch sooner because they want to salvage the season. Well, it depends Whereas, why they're two and four. If they're two and four and Trey's actually playing well, they, I mean, they're, they would. Yeah, if he's playing well, coach. but if he's playing I mean, bad and factoring yeah. through those losses, then I, I could actually entertain it. I don't think I, that's not something I would do. I would be I would be criticizing like, no, just keep riding the wheels with them. Let them let them learn. Let them go. It let seems them take that the, the, the theme of this season is getting the young players, you know, up to speed. I mean, yep, it's not just hard. Trey, Center, but there's safety. like five positions where the Niners are being like. Oh, we're going to give a guy a, – we're going to make a guy a starter who's proven nothing in the NFL. It's not just Trey. It's Aaron Banks. It's Jake Brendel. He's not young, but he's proven nothing. It's Talanoa. It's whoever the nickel is. Could be – I mean, there's five guys. And if the Niners have that attitude at quarterback, they're going to have it at strong safety too. So, I mean, if they're struggling early on, it, be, it could be because of the influx of five starters who've never done it before. Maybe it's going to take them a little bit of time. I think they're, I think they're counting on that. Naturally, it does, prepared. right? Yeah. But hey, you're Maybe, the head coach. You get paid yeah. the big bucks. I always, you may help him learn, make yeah. it easier for him. You have all it's, this talent. It's like, it's like Kyle's like, look, as long as we're going to make the, the leap of faith on trade this year, why don't we do it at five different positions? <laughs> you know, if we're going to do it at quarterback, let's do it at strong safety, nickel. Why not? You know? Anyway, Nathan says, Jimmy stands today. Jimmy will not be starting by week four. Football season is upon us by Jimmy two picks. Oh, he never goes away. He never actually goes away. He's like Michael Myers. Keith Murphy says, problem is you do get paid off one year. Ask Jimmy. That's true. If you're a quarterback. But that was different because he was very desperate for a quarterback. So they they already already traded that second round pick. Once you trade that second round pick, you knew you were extending him. That was a bad contract. Keith Murphy says, oh, we already got you. Sorry. Niners daddy says, at Flav, Trey played against Seattle on same day. Trey had a far better game on every aspect. It's like being thrown in at halftime. Yeah, he better go. That's true. He better cope. I like that. You, uh, Yeah, that was good. I put a comment there, but I feel what you were saying. Um, yeah, outplayed him against Seattle without practicing that week. I still remember that's one of the actual couple of games I actually was able to cover with you. And I remember seeing like, hey, look at Trey. Trey's coming out like he's about, like he's about to come out and play. Remember that? I was like, I think he's about to come out and play. He's like, no, he's not. And he's like, and he's freaking throwing warmups. And it's like, whoa, it is actually happening. And it was like so much better. And that first half, they were, they were, the Seattle was asking 49ers to beat them. I yeah, was already, they, they I couldn't get a first down. Article. I showed you. They and couldn't get a first down. It. Yep. Um, if I remember correctly, this was before Martellus Bennett went on the podcast and called Jimmy Garoppolo a bitch. And this was Jimmy's, oh, I'm sorry, this was Jimmy's first uh, injury of the year. He did something. And what did he, what did he hurt? What did he hurt? I forget. Anyway, he got hurt in the first half, apparently. Didn't tell anyone at halftime. And as they were walking out to the second half, he informed the coaches he wouldn't be playing. Remember? So they didn't have any plan for Trey Lance. And I think that's kind of what people say about Jimmy. Like, he'll just shut himself down. I'm like, what do you mean? What? Now? You're shutting yourself down now? Because of what? Like, I don't know, man. A lot of quarterbacks would probably gut it out for the team, but and he did after being called out by by Martellus Bennett. He did it, but not in that game. And that was the last time where I think that's a big issue with Jimmy Garoppolo is he may just shut himself down, and he does. Yeah, I can already bet my bottom belt that Kyle Shanahan was pissed off at that too, given that he is kind of an old school coach. Old yeah. school coaches, when you shut yourselves down, don't tell them out. They get pissed at you. They will hate you for a time. Kyle's old school, man. He's a lot like his dad. He's like his dad wearing Yeezys. It's like, don't be fooled by the Yeezys. He's still a 75-year-old man at heart. 